For months, astronomers assured us there would be nothing more than an AI atlas, a harmless spectacle, a brilliant flyby, skipping Mars and disappearing into the dark hue, an interstellar visitor, nothing more. But the cosmos does not do harmless without reason. Now the James Webb Space Telescope, our most advanced vision in the void, has produced data that flips the narrative upside down. The numbers have changed. The course has changed. And scientists are whispering the one thing no one else wanted to hear. Three AI atlases could strike Mars. It's more than just a comet. It shows precision maneuvers, clock-like gas pulses, an object behaving less like a rock and more like a spacecraft. The deeper you look into the data, the clearer it becomes 3AI Atlas is not swaying. It's steering, adjusting, targeting, and the red planet is directly in its path. No matter what it is, it's not done with our solar system. And if you're as captivated and unsettled as the scientists following this, know this, the story is only at its beginning. What comes next could change everything we thought we knew. In July, the first sighting of 3E e Atlas looked like any other interstellar interloper. A swift-moving blur with a glowing coma, traveling at speeds never before recorded for an inbound object. Nearly 87 kilometers per second relative to the sun, it could move from Earth to under the moon's distance in 80 minutes. But what stunned scientists wasn't its velocity, it was its behavior. Comets typically slow, splinter, or hold together as they get closer to the inner system. However, 3AI Atlas began slowly accelerating, but consistently. Even more disturbing, its trajectory began tightening. Slight but obvious course corrections appeared. Its coma the surrounding halo of gas and dust doubled in brightness within weeks. Spectral analysis revealed intense spikes in ultraviolet energy and CO outgassing at rates never seen before in any comet. It was acting less like a drifting chunk of frozen rock and more like a missile with a plan. Then Webb's deep field sensors caught something that changed everything, rhythmic pulses coming from the tail, not chaotic jets from sunlight melting ice, but perfectly executed deliberate thrusts at 17 minute intervals, a pattern, a signal, a maneuver. As Webb, Gemini South, and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory Conchin to monitor the object, the numbers began telling a terrifying story. What was once a near-miss had become something far more dangerous. A revised impact distance of just 1.95 million kilometers from Mars a hair's width on a cosmic scale. Even worse, simulations demonstrated that even 10 kilometers of added velocity a fraction of what is currently measured in those gaff pulses may be sufficient to shift its path into a direct hit. Think about that. Just a nudge a whisper of thrust, and Mars becomes ground zero. This level of control is unheard of in natural bodies. It's as if 3AI Atlas is using its own outgassing as microthrusters, adjusting its approach like a spacecraft would. Even more disturbing, those thrusts are perfectly aligned with the planet's orbital plane. Scientists aren't just tracking an object anymore. They're watching it aim, and the window before impact keeps getting smaller. It's no longer limited to sci-fi or amateur theorists sounding the alarm. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his team have published a paper so bold it's shaking the field. 3AI Atlas may be an engineered probe. The data backs them up. Radar bounces from the Mars Goldstone and Recon Orbiter antenna Retron metallic echoes not the soft, watery signatures of typical comets. Inside information from NASA described the radar reflections as unlike anything else we've seen before. Add to that the green, needle-like streams seen in amateur high-exposure images three glowing beams converging toward Mars pulsing in sync with the exhaust vents, and the picture ceases to be disputed. This object is not behaving naturally. Loeb proposes a scenario in which 3AI at last goal be deliberately targeting Mars to crash, or worse, to deliver something. Spores, signals, and probes, whatever it is, it's not a coincidence. Mars is being approached with surgical intent, and humanity is caught watching an operation we barely understand unfold before our eyes. What would occur if it hits? The answer is almost incomprehensible. With a mass estimated at 10 billion tons and a speed of 57 kilometers per second relative to Mars, an impact would unleash more than 2 million megatons of energy thousands of times the most massive nuclear explosion in Earth's history. 
The crater would be 60 kilometers wide, 5 kilometers deep, and would scatter debris across Mars' orbit, some of which could be ejected into interplanetary space. Yes, that indicates that some of it may eventually reach Earth, but the consequences go far beyond just rock and dust. Mars is home to dozens of scientific assets, rovers, orbiters, experiments searching for life, and environmental records spanning decades. An impact wouldn't just destroy machines, it would eliminate decades of research, a raise of communication, and possibly ignite contamination events we are wholly unprepared for. Space agencies worldwide have already initiated planetary defense discussions not against an alien fleet but against a single object behaving a bit too much like a craft. For years, scientists have speculated that Mars once had life and perhaps still harbors it deep beneath its rusty surface, subsurface lakes, dormant microbes, ancient ecosystems locked beneath permafrost. This is one of the primary reasons we've sent so many rovers, orbiters, and landers. But if 3AI Atlas strikes, all of that becomes a biological unknown. The extreme heat of impact wouldn't just vaporize the surface. It would split open the Martian crust's deeper layers, exposing reservoirs we haven't reached before. And if 3AI Atlas transports organic molecules or worse, synthetic biology embedded in its outgassing trails, the fusion of Earth-independent evolution with Martian biology could result in genetic contamination on a planetary scale. This is what some biologists call panspermia in reverse, life not spreading from Mars to Earth, but life being seeded into Mars deliberately. It raises a terrifying question, what if the goal was never destruction? What if the object is a delivery system and Mars the incubator? As 3 Atlas moves closer to its closest point to Mars, the James Webb Telescope locks onto it for one final ultra-deep scan. The result is categorized for 48 hours before the public is given partial access, but leaks from within the Webb project tell a much darker story. Instruments detected traces of synthetic polymers molecules resembling Earth-made plastics and carbon nanotubes in combination with natural gases. These aren't the kinds of structures that form in vacuum or during cometary heating. These are designed materials. Webb spectrographs also picked up persistent isotopic anomalies particularly in hydrogen and carbon matching no known solar system object. In short, 3AI Atlas contains items that should not exist in space, and all of it is heading straight toward a planet that still might be alive. Emergency task forces are convened not because we can stop it, but because we're running out of time time to figure out what it really is, yet. As the countdown to impact ticks down, a deeper unease grows. Because maybe this isn't about a crash. It might be about a message, a signal, a ritual, a convergence. Mars could be the stage, but Earth, we are the audience, and we were never meant to be passive observers. We were always part of the design. The final impact may not leave a mark. Although it has already begun to reshape what we thought we knew about Mars, about life, about ourselves. Because in the end, 3AI Atlas didn't come from Mars, it arrived for our attention, and now it has it, because it must ask, what happens next? Subscribe now because what's coming isn't just another story, it's the kind of story that could rewrite everything.